Lux on me. Fancy seeing you here. I'm so bad at winking. Okay, let's just start. Thank God. Oh my God. Hey guys, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't talked. Oh my God, my hair. Okay. I have not sat down and talked to you guys like this in a minute. Like way longer than a minute. Hold on, let me just fix this because this is disgusting. I have not sat down and talked to you guys like this in a while. Like it's really been way too long. Today I am talking about study abroad tips, my experience study abroad, what I actually thought it was like, if I liked it, and yeah, so let's get into that. Study abroad was the best time of my life. I don't know if you thought I was gonna say anything different. I might clickbait this title a little. I could not have asked for anything better. Just exploring the world with like people my own age, traveling and being able to like see other cities in the way I wanna see them. You know, it's one thing, like obviously I'm very grateful that I've been able to travel with my family so much. And it's one thing that I've been able to travel with my family so much. I'm so grateful for that. But it's a totally different thing when you travel with your friends and you kind of get to like experience cities in the way you've always like dreamed of experiencing them. You just do different things that you would with your friends than you would with your family. I don't really know if you're picking up on my vibe, but like I feel like we get each other. If any of you are on the fence about it, have the slightest chance to go, totally do everything you can to make it happen like it's really worth it it's something you'll never forget for the rest of your life like i'm even thinking about going again because i went as a sophomore and most people go as juniors and i have a lot of friends that are going as juniors so totally might send that if you're wondering why i went as a sophomore i kind of was just like i kind of just was like yeah i have no responsibility right now like I have nothing holding me back, why wouldn't I go? Because you never know what can come up in your life. Something could happen any day, like just be grateful for every day. So I was like, I am in a perfect place right now, like nothing is really going on with me that's holding me back, so like why not? I'm glad I did it, of course, I went in not really knowing anybody, but you just make friends. I made such a squad, we traveled everywhere, and those are friends I'm gonna have for the rest of my life, you know? You just, you don't lose those experiences. In the heart. Let me hit you with some of my tips. Like obviously I learned a lot about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. The first thing I want to talk about is budgeting. Traveling is expensive and like going on vacation is expensive and you're basically on vacation for like four months. You should at least have like $5,000 in your savings at least because you want to go and not really restrict yourself obviously go if you have less than that and just like know that you're gonna have to really keep track of your spending you should have like five to ten thousand saved and that's a that's a generous amount because you know like you're gonna travel every single weekend you have to pay for transportation food airbnbs when i kind of went in the beginning i kind of just didn't really know how to budget so i kind of just spent a lot of money in the beginning at the end i was like Crap, I don't have any money left. Although you go and you're like, yeah, I have like $8,000 right now. Like at the end, you're gonna be like, I have $3 in my bank account. Like how do I make this last for a week? Don't go too nuts at the beginning because you wanna have money at the end to like still travel. You travel every weekend a lot and you kind of wanna have someone in your friend group that is a good planner. And like that for sure was not me, but you need to have someone that like basically creates the google doc for everyone and is like guys this is what we're doing plans out like okay this is the flight we're gonna take like text everybody else keeps everybody in the loop like you want to have a squad of people to go with you obviously want to get the most out of your experiences you want to travel as much as you can sometimes like people won't do things unless they're like told and like reminded keep that in mind because like the weekend comes up fast and you want to book things in advance as much as you can because the longer you wait, the more expensive it gets. I just wanted to touch on spring break because if you're going abroad spring semester, you have a spring break and like that for me was the most fun time ever because you're basically traveling for 11 days with all of your friends doing whatever you want. So you could go anywhere you want and 
that is where your planner comes into serious key because you don't want to stay in one place for the entire break so you kind of want to go to a country or two countries where you can kind of hop from city to city for me and my friends we flew into naples italy and then we went from naples to florence to milan to nice to Cannes. so we went taking the train to all those different places and then we flew at the end from Nice back to London. That's a lot to plan. You need to fi figure out what train you're going to take on what day, the Airbnb schedule, like how many nights you're staying, who's paying for what, splitting it up, who's getting venmo like all of those things really need to be planned to a T. So I was really lucky that I had friends that were willing to do that, but you kind of have to make sure like you know who that person is that's planning that because spring break is definitely something you need to plan in advance like way in advance because there's a lot of moving parts with that okay next thing is packing so when you go abroad like obviously you can't bring your entire wardrobe i was kind of lucky like my parents came to visit so i got them to bring back some of my winter stuff and they brought me some of my warmer clothing even so like i didn't even need the warmer clothing that much so it's kind of just like knowing the climate of your area and packing very minimally basics you gotta have basics black jeans blue jeans white jeans you don't need like 20 pairs like you literally don't have room when you go on all these weekend trips you need to have like a weekend bag when i went back to new york i bought another suitcase because honestly it's cheaper to buy another suitcase than to pay for things being overweight also with a lot of like the low budget airlines on the weekend you could always get away with not having to pay for a carry-on bag if you have like a little backpack that you could fit a bunch of things in and bring it as like a on the plane bag next thing i want to talk about is the transportation situation when we went to iceland they like don't really do cars. They do buses. So like you kind of just have to like know what you're going into when you get places. A lot of places have Uber, but like some don't. Generally with transportation, just be aware, like know the rules and kind of like look into it before you go. Cause you don't want to get there and be like, crap, we don't know how to get around. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is school. My school has a campus in London for kids who want to study abroad. So they have Fordham London Center. So for me, I'm really lucky because all my classes were literally the same as if they were going to be in New York. So I didn't have to worry about credits or anything, but all my teachers were not from America basically. So a lot of them were from London, living in London, from other countries. They do school differently there. They grade differently. They do assignments and testing differently. So that's kind of just something you have to keep in mind when you're transitioning. For me, the workload during the week was very light, but like the tests would come around and they would be hard. They were worth a lot. Like everything was worth a lot because you didn't really have that many assignments so that kind of affected my GPA a little but it was also nice because during the week I could kind of do whatever I wanted because I didn't have that much work there wasn't like busy work they were giving you like little assignments to do just like for grades if you're doing a study abroad program with another school like obviously they're gonna have a different way of doing things so I think in the beginning just kind of pay attention to the little like nuances that are different because over time they kind of build up this was the best experience of my life hands down i really suggest it to everyone anytime you get to travel you just learn so much about not only yourself but like other people and the way other people interact even people from america you and your friends from school like you learn a lot about people when you travel with them and that is something i had to learn over study abroad leave me any questions down below i will be happy to answer them i totally know i had so many questions when i was going abroad don't forget to like subscribe i love you all and peace uh, i can't reach <laughs>